Hey guys, D Mike here. Hello and welcome back to the finale of Super Mario Odyssey. Last time, the dark side of the moon, we took on the brutal gauntlet, and today we have one final ultimate challenge: the darker side. Are you ready to to explore your darker sides, viewers? If you are, you would like this video, comment, and subscribe. It's now been the better part of three weeks now that I've been sick. Well enough to record, of course. I'm full of pee, just like the Odyssey. And I'm going to tackle this final challenge in sickness and in health. So we're going to give it a go. I'm feeling okay. Not great. Probably like 80%. But, you know, I'm doing it for you, viewers. This is all for you. My loyal fan base, just like those people who have gathered together here on the Coleman Crater to send us off one last time. All of our friends from the various kingdoms, the Sand Kingdom, the Seaside Kingdom, the Snow Kingdom, the Luncheon Kingdom, the Wooded Kingdom, and some of the Cat Kingdom friends too. And what better way to send us off than some banging tunes with our most hated enemy, Pauline. So there we go, wonderful. A good way to kick off this finale. So, full disclosure, this is not my first time attempting this. I actually played through this a few times prior to getting sick, and I made some progress, and that's why I have six points of health instead of three. I tried to play it off real coy, like I didn't know what I was doing in previous attempts, but obviously, I'd rather be honest with you here on this channel, because at DMIC Industries, we pride ourselves on honesty. So, I have tried this a few times prior to being sick, but that was about three weeks ago. So, muscle memory, pretty non-existent. I'm going to do my best to channel my elite skills to be completely epic for all of you here in this final challenge. So, if you've ever played Super Mario 3D World on the... Nintendo Wii U. This will probably be a little reminiscent for you of the final gauntlet challenge that you have to do in that game. Where you will be playing through the entire stage and you have to be all through top to bottom beating it off in one go. That's kind of the rules of engagement here. So the first enemy here is this purple top hat pooping monster. Just pooping these Goombas out. So we can make our nice Goomba tower. And once you are high enough, you can just bonk him on the head. And your reward is very nice. To beat him off, you get yourself a power heart. So six hit points is obviously really nice. And that should help you on your way. Don't fret. There are other other op other there are other opportunities. There are other opportunities as you play through this to gain health. So it's not this is the only shot you get kind of a situation. You will have more chances. So go ahead and scale these shafts and we're gonna wait this one out for another cycle. The game is pretty generous with the timing here. I would say this challenge overall, I would rate it maybe a 6.5 out of 10, maybe 7. It's not terrible. It will probably take you a few tries, which is okay. If you beat this in one try, I, oops, okay. That's not what I meant to do. Oops, not, not doing well at all right now. This is actually one part of the challenge that I don't struggle with for some reason, but right now I am, okay. Uh, if you need it, right here is the... It's a health heart. If you want to grab that, I'm going to go ahead and skip it. Unless I need it, and then I won't. So here we go. We are in SpaghettiOs land with the Potabos. This area is a little bit tricky because the Potabos require a bit of a run-up before you can jump into the sauce. And then the other annoyance is that they're very floaty too. So... 
you have to gain momentum, make the jump, and then also land probably in the far side of the soup. That box over there, it's another power heart, or another heart if you need to keep calling power heart. Another heart. There will be another power heart, actually, but not yet. So here we go. Blasting away. I'm going to try to show you as much as I've seen, at least, from my previous attempts that I can remember. My brain is basically mashed potatoes at this point. There's another heart. We'll grab this one, actually. Going into this next section with a little bit more life is useful. Alright, so now it's time for hanging out with our onion booty friend. We're going to hop up here and immediately get swarmed by... The hedgehog beetle things. One thing that I can pride myself on, you know, as being the founder of Mike Industries, is that uh, I, I'm very consistent in the fact that I that I don't remember anything. So, never gonna remember anything's names. Pretty much an impossible task for me. There you go. That's pretty much it. Actually, no, we need him for a little bit. What am I doing? Come back. Actually, I don't know if you can get in here without it. Maybe you can. You can maybe you can wall jump. Okay, so for some reason, we've got icy water and then a chain of fuzzies. Not entirely sure why this is what they're doing, but you just basically have to wait until... They pass you by, and then you can just sneak right past them. That's it. Challenge isn't really too bad. It starts to get a little bit trickier in the second half, of course. But overall, this is a relatively tame final challenge. I think the most difficult part about this is just having to redo it. If you if you die. That's a bit of an annoyance. But we can just ride this shaft all the way to the top. Just pass right by him. That's it. Okay. Very nice. Now we've got Wooded Kingdom music. This is, we went from Cascade to Sand and now to Wooded. So there you go. There is a health heart up there if you want it. Not gonna go for that. I wouldn't recommend it either. It's very tricky to get. So this part is actually really annoying. If you get stuck on those bricks, you can be in no man's land because the pathway will disappear. But, um, yeah, so here's a Sphinx, and this is how you know that I've already done this, because it would be over top of the, the pit. And it'll ask you a question, what kingdom has the Sphinx not been in before? So I'll let you figure that out. For yourselves, no spoilers. And the reward is another power hurt, so there you go. It's a bit of a checkpoint, pretty nice. Alright, and here's probably one of the trickiest parts of the challenge, I would say. This one took me a while to figure out. So we're going to be doing a Capulus challenge here. And the one thing that you need to be mindful of is that the game is trying to help you out with the rings. Sort of. But not right away. So this one, you actually want to be on the side of the rings. And this one, you got to wait it out. And then this one, you do want to follow the rings. This one is, you are the Lord of the Rings. And you want to wall jump back and forth and just ride it on through. There you go. Okay. So Cappy back. We can fly away as glide on one last time. Make sure you hit the middle of the cyclone if you can. Or else you won't be able to move your body like a cyclone. Nobody wants that. There's certain parts of this where you would look at this and you play and you're like, Oh, that's not that bad. That can't be that tricky. Um, and then it turns out to actually be harder than you'd think. So, me hitting that fly was actually really annoying. But yeah, make sure you definitely get the middle of every cyclone or else Glideon won't have enough lift to get you to the next spot. Alright, so, now we're listening in. Luncheon Kingdom. Hopefully you're not feeling pretty forked by this point. You just gotta take your time. It's kind of the big thing here, is just take your time, don't rush through any of this. Unless you're trying to intentionally rush through. And then I guess do that. Hit your PBs. But I'm not. This is a cash run through. 
Okay, so that area over there, as you can see with the swinging things. Oh, there's a heart over there. I didn't even know that. Uh, that's really annoying. This is also really annoying, as you're about to see. So, full disclosure, uh, if you can avoid it, you don't want to hit the little electric charge stations in the middle of the platform. If you can move around and kind of kite the little hedgehog beetles, uh, do that. But you don't want to hit the... You don't want to hit that at all, if you can avoid it. Um, it will trigger a chain reaction, and then all of these boys will just endlessly pursue you on top of the fact that you will have to deal with the lasers just ping-ponging back, back and forth. Oops. Yeah, as long as I can get out of here with, like, four, that should be enough. Okay, that's pretty good. All right, so here we go. One last time with our boy, Pokio. Let's make this happen. Yeah, this part of the challenge sucks. Don't care for this at all. It's very easy to die here. And, uh... You might think you have to go to the ones that are up on the side. You don't. You just need to be fast here. If those things hit you, they will knock you off. Okay. So we're doing all right. And we have a little bit of a 2D platform in section here. Where we got to take out our, our... Mortal enemy. I don't know why I was struggling with that. With our mortal enemy DK. So first you're going to jump over the barrels. Of course, this is just kind of like a... A Donkey Kong arcade cabinet challenge. Alright, we want to get up here though. And then uh, you can run across. Whee! Now you can only hit DK when he is grounded. Which I think should be all the time. Whee! There we go. You could stop doing that. Yeah, you can take that little shortcut that I did. That knocks him out. And then you get access to the, the pipe. Let's hit that pipe one last time. Okay, so here is actually the final part of the challenge. Here we go. We get to kind of do a little bit of an homage to the Bowser segment earlier. Oh, it gives you the Mario 64 painting sound. That's nice. And then you get it. You do get a full, um, a full power heart again, so don't fret. This kind of has like Sonic Adventure vibes to it. I would dodge all these exploding boulders. Actually, I don't know if these explode or uh, I think they might just be uh, existing and I'm just doing a good job of getting hit by them. Oh, come on. Probably should be attacking them as often as I can. Alright. Stop it. Stop hitting me with your balls. Yeah, this is kind of annoying. Not particularly enjoying having to backtrack every time I swing. There we go. All right, we got to keep it moving here. Hopefully, we have enough health to power through. All right, not so bad. I don't know what's coming though. We that might be. Oh, that's it. Okay. Yeah, this episode's probably gonna be on the shorter side just because. I did this in one go because I'm epic, but we'll take our time with this part. We will be using our Pro Controller to move. Yeah, so here is kind of the, uh, this is kind of like your credit scroll, I guess you could think of it that way. Um, I'll take a second just to talk about this one, uh, just for a little bit. Um, you know, obviously the 3D Mario games are something that I, that I enjoy a lot. This is now the third one that I've played on the channel, Galaxy 1, Galaxy 2, and now Odyssey. And uh, these games are really special. They're really fun. Um, I grew up playing Mario 64. You know, I got a uh, 64 when I was a little kid. And that was my first console that I didn't have to share with my siblings. So that was kind of a big one for me. And I played a lot of those games. I really enjoyed it. And it just kind of became a bit of a passion. I would say platformers are probably my first or second favorite genre of games to play. And 
they've never stopped being a huge part of why I, I play games and why I play them on this channel. I've always really enjoyed them. They've always brought me a lot of joy. It's really fun to play with friends if you get a chance to, and they're always really well made. You know, the animations, the gameplay, the music, it's always top notch coming from Nintendo, and it's just something that I feel really strongly about uh, and enjoy. I know this this series has had its ups and downs, and there's been some hiatuses here and there, but uh, I just wanted to say thank you for everybody that's kind of followed through and watched this the entire time that I've been making it. This one, I think, has gone on for maybe the better part of a year. So it's one of the longer series. I think it just falls short of the longest on the channel. But I've had a ton of fun every step of the way. And this is going to be one that I'm going to be sad that I'm not playing anymore. Uh, I know that there's obviously the more moons. You know, I only did the 500. I think there's actually, like, you can get up to 999 if you want to. Um, but my goal with this one was just a more of a casual playthrough. This series, if I wanted to do that, it would have probably ballooned up to like 80 or 90 episodes. And, you know, as much fun as that would be, you know, even 30 minutes a piece for all of these, I, I, I didn't want that to happen. I, I, I'm still trying to find ways to enhance the variety of this channel, and I didn't want that one to get out of hand. So let's uh, see what they have in store for us. Looks like we're spelling something, viewers. What do you think? T H. -D. I think you can figure out what this is. This is nice. This is a nice little, uh, nice little finale. That they baked into this one. I like this. I think there's something sim similar that they do in 3D World, but instead of these electrical things, it's tubes. And there you go. So thank you viewers for watching. It has been so much fun playing through this. Although I'm disappointed that I had to hold off on what I wanted to really accomplish because of my illness, but I know that all of you on the channel from the beginning to the newest person who has followed along um, you know, I know that you've all enjoyed this, and I've enjoyed making it for you. And, uh, yeah, so let's have one final chat with Cappy here. One final climb, viewers. Nice little music box theme of the title music. And I've never actually seen this. This is the first time. Honor walking a mile in your head. You too, Cappy. Thanks for being a pal. And there you go. One final multi-power moon. Viewers, we did it. We did it, viewers. That's it. That's Mario Odyssey. Yeah. And oddly enough, your reward is the invisibility hat. So, yeah. There you go. There's uh There's Mario Odyssey for you. Everybody now is very confused, which I think is really funny. Um they're like, "Wait, what? Like we just saw you." Actually, I don't know. What, I'm kind of curious what Pauline says. 
Oh, she's wearing the Mario hat. All right, she just has some lyrics, but there you go. So, uh, yeah, that's where we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna call it a call it a series. Um, yeah, this has been amazing. This has been so much fun. Um, just want to say thank you to everybody that's followed this series from the beginning until now, and to future people that see this. Um, thank you for watching, and uh, you know, hopefully, my health will stay intact from now on and I'll be able to continue to put out content regularly. I apologize for there being such a gap, but hopefully this is a one-off so I can get back to playing lots of games and having fun with all of you. So thanks for watching everybody. I've been D-Mike. This has been Super Mario Odyssey and I'll see you next time for a brand new series. If you enjoyed this content, if you could like the video, comment and subscribe and I'll see you next time for something brand spanking new. Bye.